Welcome to the Gavin Herbert Eye Institute at the University of California, Irvine. We've produced this video tour to help you understand the steps involved in phacic interocular lens surgery, otherwise known as an implantable contact lens. We're dedicated to the highest standards of medical and surgical eye care using the most advanced state-of-the-art technology, assuring our patients the best possible outcomes. At UCI, many considerations are placed into the choice of your phacic intraocular lens. These lens implants are intended for patients who are not suitable candidates for cornea-based refractive surgery like LASIK and PRK. The lens is placed into the eye behind the cornea without removing the natural lens. The lens insertion is done through a small opening made at the edge of the cornea. The lens you will see in the surgical portion of this video is an example of a phacic IOL. However, selecting the right lens for your eye is an important discussion to take place between you and your surgeon prior to surgery. On the day of your procedure and prior to going to pre-op, you'll need to check in and take care of all paperwork. This usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes. You'll then be escorted to pre-op where you will change into a gown and be made comfortable and meet your pre-op nurse who will verify your information and administer an IV. You will also meet your anesthesiologist at this time. Your eye will be prepared for surgery with a series of eye drops to numb the eye and guard against infection. When the surgeon arrives, they will confirm all is in readiness and that you are comfortable and ready for surgery. When the surgical team is ready, you'll be taken to the operating room. The area around your eye is cleansed and your face is covered with a sterile drape. The eyelid is held open and surgery is carried out under the microscope while you are fully awake. The surgery is performed under local anesthesia and takes less than one hour to complete. The recovery after implantation is quick, with most people returning to their normal activities within one or two days. Following your surgery, you will be transported to our recovery area. Here, our medical staff will give you some eye drops and explain how to use them at home. You will also be given some written instructions to take home and a clear shield to cover the eye for 24 hours after the operation. You will need a friend or family member to drive you on the day of surgery. For safety reasons, it's common to treat one eye at a time. Usually, surgery is separated by one or two weeks. You need to plan on a post-operation visit the day following surgery and then a one or two week follow-up visit. The Gavin Herbert Eye Institute at the University of California, Irvine is looking out for your well-being by providing the highest levels of care before, during, and after your procedure.